at the height of World War I. The London, Brighton and South Coast Railway needed some tank engines who can work for their loads. What is the result? The E2 tank engines, built by Billington. Ten of these locomotives were built between 1913 and 1916. Three of these tank engines work on the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway, later the Southern Railway, and later the British Railway Southern Region. However, during the World War I years, some of the four tank engines was allocated to Windward Island. Four E2 tank engines, Nicholas, Diego, Alex and Nathan will come to Windward Island in 1918. Both tank engines are very successful and they work for the heavier loads including branch line works. Let's so now take up an example of these four E2 tank engines and show this basis by the yardmaster Mr. Lindsley. So you know about the E2 tank engines, don't you? Well, I certainly do. Now let's take a summer look at the space, shall we? One of the most interesting things about the four E2 tank engines is the cylinder. Only one cylinder, without any pistons. So it has a coupling rods on these six wheels? Well, yes, so they do. And so one of the most another features about these four E2 tank engines has a short stumpy bundle, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dome. And yet, uh, look at Thomas. It looks similar to the spaces that the E2s have. Well, one of the most you have to do with these E2 tank engines is shunting. So yet, you need to be most extra, extra careful while shunting these wagons and trucks and coaches, you need to be extra careful yourself. But they have no trouble these E two themselves. Have no objection with this one will go. Um son what? Now let's see Diego, Nicholas, Alex and Nathan in action. First we see Diego and Nicholas with a good strain. At Windward City Station, Diego was shunting coaches for Alfred for his local morning route. Ironically, this is where the E2 tank engines had doing shunting. But not only shunting, for banking duties as well. Here, Nicholas at the back, who helping with her with a heavy goods train. Over the yard sidings, Alex is prepared to take on cooling water. Alex, being as a terminating engine, but an E2 tank engine, was always saving the engine's lives, including friends. And here we see Nathan, with a passenger branch line train, stopping at Tynewood Station to pick up passengers. For many years, the E2 tank engines are very good well on sea lining railway. But the question is, what are the characteristics of these four E2s? Mr. Lindsley will talk about that. You know, these E2 tank engines are very successful in service on the sea lining railway, but including Diego, 
who is hard working, shunting trucks, and even helping anybody. But Nicholas is a very kindly engine, but Nathan is a working engine, yeah. But as for Alex, well, he's a threatened engine. He was very angry and takes revenge to the, well, the arch enemies and villains, you know. So, yes, but the tooth itself, it's a, well, just tank engines. They can do on branch line passenger works. Yeah. Today, the four E2 tank engines were operational conditions on the Sea Lightning Railway. In the case of any trouble, these E2 tank engines will help the other engines, including express engines. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to comment, rate, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, the adventures of the Sea Lightning Railway. It's coming soon this year. Thanks for watching.